I want to hear the facts debated, you know. I want, I want to hear the argument how you can have these kinds of increases in pension funds and not bankrupt the state, you know. What level do you think we can raise taxes to before people just pack up and leave, right? It's about the numbers and what can you afford, you know. This is a, about balancing a budget and you can either afford it or you can't afford it. Would we like to do it? I would love to give every man, woman, and child in the state of New York a great, robust pension. I would love to do it in, in theory. The question is, what can you afford? And that's what we're talking about here as the state government. And if we're worried about a middle class disappearing from this state, what's going to make the middle class disappear is a tax burden that they can't afford and property taxes that they can't afford. And that's what we're doing. We are bankrupting towns and villages all across the state, or we will force them to double, triple, quadruple property taxes. Look, the way the law works is you have collective bargaining um, and items that can be collectively bargained. I just collectively bargained with the unions. Pensions are not an issue that can be collectively bargained. Pensions are done by law by the state legislature. When the state legislature says, well, go to the unions and see what they'll agree to, the legislature is giving the unions, frankly, their authority. And what the legislature is really saying is, we're giving the unions veto power over any pension proposal. So if they're saying, well, go get the unions to agree, the unions will not agree, period. And I understand that's what the legislature has said in the past to governors. Go get the unions to agree, and if the unions accept it, we'll accept it. Yeah, the unions weren't elected by the people of the state. The assembly people were. The senators were. And those are the ones who I'm going to hold accountable. And for a legislator to say, well, I'll only do it if the unions tell me it's okay. How about the people who elected you? How about the citizens? How about the taxpayers, as opposed to just the donors? Yeah, I, I see the uh, controller. I've spoken to the controller. I haven't spoken to him about this because, uh, in some ways, I understand the controller's political position, uh, and I understand his politics. I've been talking to the legislators because the controller uh, really doesn't have a vote on this. He has a political position, but there's no vote. Assemblymen vote. Senators vote. And uh, I want to hold the Assembly and the Senate responsible for their vote. But the contro controller doesn't have a vote on whether or not this becomes a reality. Governor, Governor, Governor when you say you understand the controller's political position, are you suggesting that his union support is somewhere, somehow influencing his position? No. This is a political system. These are elected officials in a political system. Uh, and these are political positions. Uh, my point is the controller is irrelevant from a voting point of view.